What the f stop? Alright guys, real quick before we get started with this episode of How to Get Away with Murder, don't forget that you can get the full uncut, unedited raw reactions to How to Get Away with Murder on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to rewatch these episodes along with me in their entirety, definitely check it out. Otherwise, of course, we'll still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get in this episode, guys. I can't believe Wes snaked on her. For all that she's done for him. Hell no, it's not Bonnie. Bonnie would never. Oh. It's not me. She's so upset she would even think that. Oh, Dan. <laughs> I could get through it before I I thought it would end. But I can't do it anymore. I'm tired. I don't blame her. Everyone just screws her constantly. Oh, we're getting closer. One week earlier. Oh, shit. <laughs> Brother Lee, we've been through a lot together. Kind of love her. No, she's in love with the real guy. I didn't want to involve you. Oh, and you're fine involving me now? Because I'm in love with you. Oh my god, stop! Get out right now. I have nowhere else to go. You have yourself oh, to blame god. for that, Frank! Also, how are you gonna say that shit to Bonnie and then go and say, like, I'm in love with you? Just because she's finally, like, moving on. I'm scared what I'll do if I gotta be alone tonight. Oh, whatever. Don't manipulate her. That's not on her. You tell that bastard that if he comes anywhere near this house, I'll shoot him. <laughs> tell him, Laurel, I need to hear you say it. Keep him there or he's dead. She said she'd kill you. I don't think she would actually do it, sir. So oh my god, Frank. Come on. So now he gets what he wants anyway, like... It was just sex, relax. It wasn't just sex. It was sex with a boy that broke your heart. Thank God I know how to separate sex from feelings. Even with Oliver? Sure you do. Oh, your mom's calling. I have to take the stand and say I saw Charles that night. Are you surprised? His lawyer is trying to get your testimony thrown out before the trial. Annalise needs your help. Damn. She was there all night. That's how she forgives him, maybe? Tell me nothing happened. Of course Aww. nothing happened. He's jealous. You have to trust me right now. I do. I just... I don't trust him. No one does. And at least does. Otherwise, why is she using him to help us? Because does she have no other choice? You. He'll call once he finds something. What, you have a better plan? What is the plan, though? Is that him? No. President Hargrove's office. Shit. Just what she needs right now. You're afraid you would be judged by one mistake instead of the entirety of your hard-fought career. Relatable. If Nina's as good as you say, and even she thinks I should settle? <clears throat> You'll defend me if I kill him. Mm. All right, I'll read this and see if I can find an alternative. Mm. Thank you. Even after everything that you put her through. Oh, you got base flowers. It's so sweet. Those aren't for me. Awkward. Secret admirer? Thomas, there's something going on. Sure that Annalise just wants to yell this more. Oh, we'll come out later? Yeah, sure. If you're having feelings, stop it. <laughs> Seriously, you guys probably went on some murder spree and, and banged on top of the corpse. Can we all just focus on what's important right now, finding the alibi. If anyone can do that, it's the beard. He doesn't have a beard anymore. What? We need to stop the hearing <laughs> so Frank has time to find the alibi. We just need to Aww. Don't complain to me when you fail out. We'll die. Does Frank really not have a beard? <laughs> Charles's lawyers knew that they wanted me to do a psyche eval before I testified. No, we're not giving your medical records to the people who want to discredit you. Why is this time? Yeah. So he's trying to find out what the alibi is? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Frank said she worked for the family during Charles's first trial. The one who set up your car crash. She's the one who gave Frank the money. I told him to follow her. 
if we want him to take care of it. Oh, shit. Oh, good lord. We're gonna start knocking people off now. The only person's opinion I care about is right now. So, I was right. Oh, shit. I was a patient. I don't care. Just go. Damn. I'm all about the team. We're ducks, and ducks fly together. Aww. Mighty ducks. We love Asher. Asher. I'm telling you, Michaela and Connor weren't willing to leave. With any more interference in my case, and I'll have to report it to the disciplinary board. As long as you're okay with me reporting that you broke privilege by telling me your client has mental health issues. Huh? <laughs> tell him to do nothing. I mean, if he hurts anyone else, I'll turn this all in. Shit. Good for her, though. Is it about Wes? Because he's been oh missing a lot of class lately. You want to know the truth? Wes and Annalise are working some crazy court case in New York. What's a court case about? Because, I mean, this is not what people are hooking up to. Otherwise, Annalise would have called you and made you go over there today, too. But she didn't. So, or that's her right now. Oh. You're a sensitive person. So you care about Wes. What happens to him? Yeah. You're only that way because you grew up in a family that was nice to you. Shh, that's not an accurate statement about my parents. And what are you saying? It's your parents' fault that you're being cold? I want to learn more about Michaela's background. Our relationship is complicated. Like, Why is it? And me? This is different. Is it? Because, you know, sometimes I wish that you would leave me a voicemail, but, oh, right, he's dead. I said goodbye. A long time ago. Damn. <gasps> well, they clearly make up because in present day, the mom's with her. He's responsible for you losing your baby. And you killed Sam. Call his ass out. I'm glad you have her. Me too. Frank, you? In her house? What the f- My name's Lisa Cameron. She's got a kid. Madison. Why is- what is clothes. he doing? I'll send the police right to your ass. Police? You hear me? No more blood. Yeah, come on. That's not a way to right your wrongs. And don't forget that you're the one that accepted the deal to begin with. Okay. Is he hiding in her closet? Let's finish this one and then it's to bed for both of us. Yeah, he's in her closet. God damn it, down. Frank. I don't blame her for being conflicted. But you, she's not the same type of person. She's not gonna take away her kid, you know? But imagine, like, seeing the woman that is responsible for your kid being taken away from you, happy with their own kid. What? <laughs> She's been through some shit. Leave her alone. Oh my god. Please don't tell me he did something. Come on. No, he didn't. There's no way he did. But stop pushing your luck. Get the hell out of there. Oh, he left. Good. Go back inside. <gasps> no. This is what she needs. Bonnie. Absolutely not. Frank, did you tell the truth about seeing Charles Mahoney on the street that night? Yes, I would never lie about something as important as that. What is your plan right now? Do you now? feel like you have a good support system in place? I heard you're working for the DA now. You're not getting involved with whatever this is. Even if it's for Wes? Sleeping with the enemy. Please raise your right hand. What was the phone for, though? But isn't it true you were placed on a psychiatric hold due to exhaustion just months before winding up at the scene of this crime? Yeah, months Objection. before. The witness passed psychological evaluation. Challenging recollection, Your Honor. I'll allow it. Are you working with someone who wants to take oh Ms. Ryan down? Or perhaps you're part of a plan to shoot and murder my client's father Ms. in cold blood. Benton. Keep going like this and I will send this case to trial right now. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Easy is different than impossible. You know what? I'm guessing you didn't get to this office by quitting every time a man told you no. This is about my kids. If giving him my money lets me have them back. For two visits a month, supervised by a social worker who sees you as the enemy, you fight this. Yeah. You're just letting this one man beat it out of you. Aww. Is that what your husband did to you? 
For how shit she treated Annalise. It's awesome. When's the last time you spoke with Charles? Before he was arrested. Has there been any contact since? No. Nothing at all. As I said, no. Then oh, is that what the, the you made prepaid phone? Your home to Charles in <gasps> oh, shit. That's why Frank went back in. Damn. Hello? Damn. Who is this? Did the Mahoney's pay you to lie on the stand today? Objection. Badgering the witness. Oh, shit. Oh, we have an eyewitness that places your client at the scene of the crime. His fingerprints on the murder weapon. Not to mention a financial Damn. motive that exceeds $25 billion. Please, Your Honor. Did you not hear me when I said that I wanted to stay in the bubble? Yeah, I did. Uh, I just don't believe you. Your dumbass begged her for a job. Here we go. And what, like three nice days? I'm already remembering why we broke up in the first place. You said that you broke up with me because you needed time to yourself. Was that a lie? Nope. You were the one choosing to not tell me about the stuff going because on. Because it's not my place. Maybe it's because you're afraid that I'll really know who you are and not like him. You do know me. Parts of you. Damn. You think that letting me cry on your shoulder is proof that you love me? Yes, because I do. No. I think you only love the idea of me. No, like, I like love some you. security blanket that you wrap around yourself every time things get too intense That's with Angelina. Oh, shit. I don't believe that, though. He definitely loves him. He definitely loves him. Like, that's not a fair argument. That I'm damaged? Oh, shit. I kept telling myself that I was the jerk this whole time. Connor. Connor. You're trying to fight for him, dude. I've got you. You had your time with him, you hit my face about it. This is my time. Leave. Sam. Here we go. It's the first time that she's seen him. Shit. You've seen me. I hate him. I hate him so much. He's Maybe. <laughs> Don't answer it. Oh my god. Hmm? I never got better. You watched me suffer all those years. Yeah. It wasn't like she just didn't tell her right away. And you said nothing. Sam wouldn't mind me. Those months to apologize. Yep. And all you can do is blame Sam. Like even after Sam, he still didn't say anything. God, they're both such good actors. It's you. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> This is not to this <laughs> I'm gonna feel guilty because I won't. <laughs> this just hurts you more. This, for me. this isn't what she this wants. Exactly what want. you no, it's not what you want. She can't survive this. Pull it. I do can't it. survive this. Pull it. Please don't, Frank. Do it. Please what don't the do it. Stop. No. That was like a lot. I have like some goosebumps. Oh my god. She didn't do this. And why did she lie to my face? She said she didn't know if somebody died in the fire, but she did. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, what the f? Babies. Ew. Uh, why is he sleeping with him? I am so confused. So it's not Connor. So it's. Frank or Nate, right? Fra it has to be Frank or Nate. Because who else would it be? Holy shit. That, like, the last, like, 15 minutes of this episode was phenomenal. Whoa. I feel like it started off a little bit slow um, when they were, like, trying to get to the point where Wes was testifying. But after that happened, it just took off. We finally got Frank and Annalise's confrontation. 
whoa. I did not expect that. Like, I know I know Annalise hates him, and I know that it was bad, but I really thought that when it got to the point of him wanting to kill himself, that Annalise was going to have to decide right then and there. You either let him kill himself, or you forgive him and try to move on from this. And I expected her to just be like, I don't want you to die, but I don't want anything to do with you. But instead, she kind of egged him on, and thank God Bonnie was there to come inside and hopefully talk him down. We don't know what happened, but... We also know that Bonnie said Annalise didn't do this. Annalise didn't call everyone there. So something's going on. Connor's alive and sleeping with the asshole to, like, I guess to spite Oliver. Holy shit. That, that was a lot of information to take in. So Nate or Frank, it has to be, right? Those are the only two left before we find out who died in the fire. And I'm guessing next episode we'll get a big clue as to who started the fire and why. But holy shit. Like, that was crazy. Like, I didn't even know what to say in that moment. Also, the Connor and Oliver thing, I'm just always going to take Connor's side on, on this. Like, honestly, Oliver's an asshole for the way that he's treating Connor. And, like, honestly, I don't... I agree with Oliver in the fact that when you're in a relationship, you need to be able to tell each other everything. And Connor hiding these things to protect him is just not okay because you don't get to pick and choose what he's protected from. That's up to him. And if he wants to put himself in danger and be a part of that, that's his decision, not yours. But then Oliver going off on him and just saying, like, I'm not just some security blanket to help you and make it seem like he's damaged. It's just not cool and it's not okay. And I don't blame him at all. Sleeping with someone that really hurt him, though, to spite him is just like mm, kind of slimy and not cool. I'm pretty sure that the baby has to be Wes's, right? Because she's definitely not going to sleep with Frank and they're pretty much in love. So obviously it has to be West's baby but I'm like I feel like I have so many questions and I feel like this finale mid-season finale is gonna hit so hard when I watch it and I don't know but like the only thing that like I'm gonna be so upset if it's Frank that dies but also it would be really disappointing not gonna lie if it was Nate just because like I don't really like him as a character especially now that he's working for the DA it's just like you're a piece of shit so I don't know I don't know I don't know what to expect they got the testimony or the alibi thrown out but there's just so many lies and so many like cheats that they've gone through i just don't know how they're gonna get out of this to be honest i don't know somehow in the trial it's gonna get turned around on wes i bet i don't know but i'm worried and i'm so excited for the mid-season finale it's gonna be insane i know it will be and i'm really looking forward to it and getting some answers on who died oh my god please don't be frank <laughs> But everyone else is alive, so it's Frank or Nate, I'm guessing. But, yeah, really enjoyed this episode. The last, the last like, half of it was f***ing insane, and I loved it. But I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next week for the finale. Thanks for watching.